All right, so I'm going to be replacing this uh, two and a half ton unit, AC unit. And I'm going to be putting in this new one, this Bryant system here, 14 sear. And uh, got everything I'm going to need. I'm going to go ahead and pump it down. And I got, I'm going to go ahead and put a new pad. I got the nitrogen, vacuum pump, soap bubbles, oxyacetylene. And I got the new uh, evaporator coil here. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and pump this system down. And then I'll recover it later. So I just want to close off the discharge line. Might be leaking at the top of the service port. Yeah, it's leaking from the top. Oh yeah, it's got a leaky valve. We'll put this on there for now. We'll tighten this up really good. So, once we turn this unit on, we're gonna make sure that this uh, pulls down, pulls down into a zero PSI. So what we're gonna do is just push that contactor in. And uh, we got bumblebees over here, so hopefully I don't get uh, stung in the process there. So let me grab something here. I'll use this. So I'm gonna need two hands, so I actually can't, uh, can't show you there. But all I'm going to do is push in this contactor here. And um, once I push this in, we're going to make sure this pulls down. So let me see if I can show you here. I'll set my uh, phone up here. All right. So this is closed. I'm going to push this in. And as this is a... Uh, starting to pump down once it gets to about 20 I'm gonna start closing it off that way it saves me some time right here on the job site and I don't have to uh, recover I don't know if you guys can see or if my fingers in the way I'm not sure So we got it down to zero PSI. There should be nothing left in there. Yep, that's empty. So I can go ahead and cut these lines here. And I'm going to replace that filter dryer that's right here. And uh, replace all this too because it's deteriorated. But... So I don't have keys for inside yet, so I can't really show.